Head to the voicemail of Truth and Reason again. I wanted to call into the show and, and bring up a concern with Deshaun Watson's arm strength. Everybody keeps saying that he's got this cannon for an arm. He does not. If you look up what velocity he threw at the combine, it was 49 miles an hour. There's a big difference in the air in Houston and that stadium that has, I think, a, a retractable roof, the air coming off the lake in Cleveland. So a lot of these plays that good ones getting behind the defense and Watson's hoisting it up like he did in Houston, he's not completing those passes like he did to Brandon Cooks. I think because the ball's hanging up in the air and it's hard telling which way it's drifting or whatever, he's not used to that. They need to go with more of these timing plays and say, hey, take the little bites, little bites, and then, then go for a mid-range pass and, and try to get him in a groove. He's always looking to go deep, and I don't think he has an arm to cut through the air to do it. So just my thoughts. Y'all take care. God bless. Appreciate all the voicemails. Brad, um, I, I do remember the, the you know, miles per hour. All I can tell you is I've seen the ball come out of his hand. He's got a strong arm. Now, the timing with Goodwin, that'll come. But there's truth to what he says about I remember that knock on him coming out of the, the, uh, the draft, and I remember seeing him on the field going, if this is 49 miles an hour, <laughs> I'm missing something. He was. He did not test well when his arm strength. I remember that as well. Uh, but, listen, I don't think it's a, uh, an air thing. I'll say this. I think he makes some points about the deep ball, right? But I but I, I don't think it's necessarily that he doesn't have the strength to cut through the air. Like, uh, just because he played the Houston Texans, they don't play, they didn't play every game in Houston, right? And he was still very effective, right? Uh, so... You know, he's been in the elements before, uh, not the elements, elements like snow and rain, but like he's thrown in other stadiums, deep balls just fine before. I think it's just a matter of, is it still, maybe still rust to a certain extent, right? Like uh, anybody that was at camp for the most part says he was very accurate at camp, right? So getting that to translate to the field is, is what this is all about. Uh, the deep ball, it's been off by a lot, right? Like, they haven't really been close on some of them. So, um, you know, I think you have to make a team respect it. So you have to throw it sometimes. Um, and I think they want to hit these these big explosive plays. But there's a path to getting there, right? And it doesn't just start with, you know, sending it sending guys deep and thrown into double coverage to try to make a play like they kind of did against the Steelers, right? Where the ball wasn't even close and uh, Wallace almost intercepted it, right? Like, so yes, uh, I, I see the issues with his deep ball right now. It's not even really close, but I don't think it's a wind issue, Dave. 